Hi guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. And today I'm going to show you a quick guide on how to do some of the initial parts of setting up your system. Now, a lot of people don't seem to realise that when you buy faster memories, and by faster memory I mean something that's not like 1333, but 1600, 1866, 2133, 2400, if you just fit it into your system and just, just do just that, just fit it, it won't run at rated. And uh, what we've got here today is the TNR rig. Now we're using it just because it's easy for me to have this system here available for you to show you today. But inside it we've got what you know a lovely spec system, pretty high spec system really. We've got uh, MSI GD65 Gaming, we've got 16 gigabyte of Corsair Vengeance 2400 megahertz, that's a GTX 780 game in there. We've got four solid state drives in RAID 0, an AX760i. It's, you know what I mean, a lot of people would say that's a dream rig. It's a high spec system. But if we go back to the uh, the desktop, as you can see, the Nurberg ring, it's the Nurberg rig, TNR. We open CPU Z, and that's going to finish open. I'll zoom you in. If we go into that, then you can see that we've got everything at stock, all lovely, lovely. Go to the memory and, oh, hang on a minute, it says 666. Now, a lot of people um, think that's a sign of the devil, and it quite possibly is and should be, because uh, that, basically, that's DDR, double data rate. So what you need to do is you need to take that 666, and you need to times it by 2, which gives you 1333. Now, if your memory's reading that, but you've got 1600 or any of the other memory speeds in there, it's not running at rated. So it is indeed a sign of the devil. Now, what you can do is turn your rig off and you can grab one of the memory sticks out your rig. Oh, I've already got one here because I've got a few to hand and I can show you something. Hopefully it will focus. Right then peeps, so we've got the uh, memory there. Now what I want to show you is a couple of things. Now we know it's 2400 megahertz and you should know what you've bought anyway. But if we have a look in the product description, you can see the 2400 there anyway. I mean, you can also see 10R. But the most important things that we need to take from this sticker are 1.65, and that's your memory voltage, and then these numbers here, 10, 12, 12, 31. Um, on the screen it said 99924, they go in exactly the same places, 10, 12, 12, 31, 99924. And they're the things that you want to take notice of. We can also see it says 2400 megahertz here. So these are your uh, memory voltages, and this is your uh, memory timings. Now what you want to do is take a note of these things, and then get yourself into the BIOS on your system. Okay then peeps, so we're on the BIOS on the MSI gaming board. Now the BIOSes can be slightly different between motherboard to motherboard, um, but it's quite simple, just a, a, a way for you to look for the timings, the, the area that you need really. And then once you get there, it's all pretty self-explanatory. Now, I'm gonna go to the overclock bit of the uh, board that we're using. And with the DRAM timing mode, I do need to make a couple of little clicks and that's just to make sure that it's linked and that's so that the memory timings are the same on each stick and then we've got advanced DRAM configuration here and you, here you can see the uh, list of settings and as I said to you before about 99924 we can see what we've got here 99924 now the command rate one at the top it's normally only going to be one or two the majority of the memory out there that you're going to have is going to be one so we can set that to one at the top command rate it might not be the first one Normally the first setting you'll get is this 9 and the command rate will be down the bottom of this list. But we can set, you know, it's there so we're going to set it. And then you need to look at your uh, memory sticks. Now don't forget your memory settings are going to be different to mine. Mine are 10, 12, 12, 31. Yours may even be 9, 9, 9, 24. It could be 9, 11, 10, 24. It, so you need to put your settings in at this point. Okay, so I just want to make that very clear. If you run my settings, then you could end up running a lot slacker times than you need to. But we're going to put 10, 12, 12, 31. Now, that is my memory settings input. So I'm going to come back out of that bio. Oh, 31, enter. Right. So I'm going to come back out of that. Now what I need to do, I need to go down and I need to look for my RAM voltages. 
Right, there we go, DRAM voltage. It's on auto at the moment. Now I know the voltage from my memory is 1.65, so I'm gonna put in there 1.65 and hit enter. Yours may well be 1.5 volt, could be 1.6 volts. So again, just make sure that you check that and have a look. And then once you've done that and you've, uh, we've done the um, timings, we've done the DRAM voltage. Now what we need to do is go and look for the DRAM speed. So we go back up to the top and then we can scroll down here. So and on my board, it's DRAM frequency. Press enter. We can scroll down and then we can find 2400 megahertz. So there we go, we've got it listed in. So we're, we're gonna have that already. Now, one thing I will say is you can use the, the XMP, but I'm just showing you how to do it manually rather than just relying on something like that. And then at least you know it's all in and ready. So we've got our DRAM frequency set, we've got our DRAM timing set, and we've got our DRAM voltage set. Now what you need to do is hit F10, and that's gonna save your uh, configuration. We can hit enter, and your system will reboot. I'm gonna let it reboot on the camera for you. There we go, we can see it all starting up now. And that's it, we're into the desktop. So what we can do once we get into the desktop is open CPU Z again, and I'll zoom you in. Right, so CPU Z's there. We go back to that memory tab, and now we can see 1200 megahertz times that by two, 2400, 10, 12, 12, 31, command rate of one T, and that's it. Your memory settings are now manually set. Um, if you do run some very, very high speed memory, what I will say though, is that some boards need some of the uh, supporting voltages changed. Um, so if you do get problems with your uh, system not starting, turn your memory um, frequency down a little bit and then consult the manufacturer's website. But with Haswell and uh, the newer Intel stuff, you're normally pretty fine to be able to do it and not touch too many other things because it is built as a mainstream system and you can change a lot of other stuff. Also something that you do need to remember is that if you do buy something like a 2133 CPU and you buy 2400 memory, a lot of those CPUs won't actually run 2400 megahertz memory. So don't go and buy the quickest memory that you can without uh, researching whether or not your CPU, uh, and that's the internal memory controller inside it, is actually strong enough to be able to run those high memory settings. So if you do run into any issues, like I said, just turn the frequency down a little bit and then do a little bit more homework. But that is the basics of how to set your memory timings, voltage and frequency.